President Biden met earlier today with Ukrainian President Zelensky after announcing a new eight, nearly $8 billion military assistance package for the country. This is part of a broader bid by President Biden to reassure his Ukrainian counterpart of continued ally support. Earlier, Zelensky thanked him for that commitment and then went on to say that Ukraine is working hard towards its goal of NATO membership. We have a strong security agreement with the United States, and we are grateful for it, and we will fully implement it. And it's very important that we share the same vision for Ukraine's security future in the EU and NATO. And Ukraine is doing the unprecedented number of reforms on this path. The new military aid package allocates about $5.5 billion for weapons from existing stockpiles. $2.4 billion is for what's known as the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative, a Pentagon fund to buy new weapons from U U.S. companies. The White House says the shipments will include air defense systems, drones, and munitions. Biden also approved a new long-range weapon and an additional Patriot battery. But there was no mention of Ukraine's request to launch U.S.-made missiles deeper into Russia, which would essentially reverse a current U.S. policy. I actually had the chance to catch up with Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut. He sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee, and he told me that he is urging the White House to grant that authorization. This administration must, it must, enable Ukraine to strike targets deep within Russia as a matter of self-defense. The missile launch sites, the air bases have to be fair game for Ukraine. Since Russia's invasion, the Pentagon has poured nearly $5 billion into U.S. factories to boost munition production, like 155 millimeter shells, with an output goal of 100,000 per month by next year. It's part of a broader plan to revitalize the U.S. defense industrial base. Zelensky started his U.S. tour by visiting one of those factories in Scranton, Pennsylvania, but it sparked some controversy after Republicans pointed to Harris Surrogate and Democratic Governor Josh Shapiro leading the battleground state visit. And Zelensky's recent comments criticizing vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance's opposition to additional aid. It's all complicating long-term prospects for more U.S. assistance to the country. As you mentioned, former President Trump originally declined an offer by President Zelensky to meet while he's in the U.S. He's now telling reporters that he will meet with him tomorrow. It comes after Zelensky met with Ukrainian President Zelensky, met with Vice President Kamala Harris uh, just within the hour. And he also traveled to Capitol Hill and had a bipartisan meeting with lawmakers there.